but realistically imagine that the lord told you today that joshua selman by 11 55 you are going home question i know you have investments around the world <laughs> i know you have all kinds of things i know you plan to travel next week i know you even plan to do a lot of things there there's a tv interview somewhere but what will become your point of focus with that knowledge just one information was passed to you that you have three more hours in this life and that's it three more hours wrap up whatever you have to do you have three hours no prayer will change it three hours you are not sicko and it's not going to be accident it will not be anything once it's time god knows the many ways he will pick you so that you don't fear but you just have three hours think for a moment what are you going to do remember your home your hometown is more than three hours so don't even think of running there think of something wiser that you will do three hours i'm about to share something else with you and then we'll pray that's why i'm asking you this question do you know i will tell you this i can give you an idea of what will happen to you hmm. in that moment i give you a guarantee nothing else matters nothing else counts i'm in the presence of my maker listen when you are right there You may think of your businesses you may think of your investments you may think of your certificates you may think of your wife you may think of your husband you may think of your parents you may think of your children you may think of your future and your goals your plans your house under construction you may think of the person owing you and the police case that is still pending you will think of all of these things and yet you will be surprised that none of them at that point will be able to bring you satisfaction listen carefully there is only one thing you will be looking for at that point when you stand with the consciousness that i have only three hours to live in this life there is only one thing you will look for it is called peace write it down john 14 27 the peace of god please write it down everybody write it down peace when trouble blows jehovah sees jehovah knows he is my peace Jehovah sees. Jehovah Do you know? Remember, three hours to end your life, and yet it is not another degree you want, it is not another political office you want. Three hours, it is timing. By now, it will be less than the three hours. It is not whether you like it or not, non negotiable three hours then you will now have the wisdom to look for what you would have spent your entire life really looking for the thing you are looking for at the point of death is what you should find first in your life and have the privilege of enjoying it because i will tell you in that security in that variety in that significance in that acceptance in that sense of growth in that sense of achievement all of them are various ways of saying the same thing this is one thing you are looking for peace how come you only find it when you are hours to the end of your life 
whereas that is really what you need even from the start of your life and can you imagine that it is available even before you find any of these things that you can have it without a car you can have it without a child you can have it without a church and yet we ignore it but when you are about to go when every other thing fades you find out that is the real thing so when i crave for security what i am really looking for is peace hmm. when i crave for variety what i'm really looking for is peace when i crave for significance what i'm really looking for is peace when i crave for acceptance running away from trouble what i'm really looking for is peace when i crave for growth what i'm really looking for is peace i know you won't believe it if i tell you the reason why you are running around with your cv is that you are looking for peace you will say apostle you are wrong i'm looking for a job <laughs> You are right in your lifetime. But back to my story. Few minutes to the end of your life, you would discover that what you were really looking for was not a job. That what you are looking for is not a travel abroad or a second citizenship. When it's all been said and done, there is just one thing that matters did i live my life to live for truth did i live my life for you when it's all been said and done all my treasures will mean nothing only what i've done for love's reward will stand the test of time lord your mercy is so great that you look beyond our weakness and find precious gold in married clay turning sinners into saints and i will always sing your praise here on earth and never after for you've shown me heaven's my true home when it's all been said and done you're my life when life john 14 and verse 27 listen to what jesus the wise has to tell you dear one who has been given the gift of life peace i live with you my peace i give to you not as the world giveth give i unto you he said let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid I have given you something the fear that comes as a result of lack of a job i don't mean to get you emotional but everybody who died in the train that was headed to kaduna by the time they left abuja they had plans when they woke up that morning they said i will return back in the evening and when i return honey i'm rushing down to kaduna to do something quickly i just want to check my building and they did not know that they had three hours left i know you may not see the wisdom in what i'm teaching you today i'm not saying you will die but i'm giving you wisdom that is greater than investments wisdom can i tell you this it is a waste of time to suspend your pursuit for peace until you find a house it is a waste of time to suspend your pursuit for peace until you have children it is a waste of time to suspend your pursuit for peace until you have money none of those things have the power to give you peace i can tell you 
they may carry with them expressions of conveniences that may minister security may minister variety but security variety significance love and acceptance growth and advancement impact and contribution as psychological ways of looking for the same thing peace jesus said i've given it to you i don't give you when you finish your degree I don't give you when you finish your masters i don't give you when you finish your phd i don't give you when you become a professor i don't give you when you are 60 years right where you are before you even start your journey you can carry the peace of god when you find a house is just an added advantage but peace is there even if the house goes your peace remains as god grants you children you are celebrating the children and dancing but not without your peace can i tell you no matter what you lose you did not lose if what you have left is peace but no matter what you gain hear me you really lost if you lost your peace on the way many of you stand with that gift of peace you throw it away to look for a wife you throw it away to look for a husband you throw it away to look for a job you throw it away to look for ministry increase at the end of it watch what you have children a name a private jet money in your account in various currencies a political position titles qualifications no peace where did you keep it and you find out that you left it in 1980 you threw it when you began your journey looking for other things and at the end of your life you will say house give me fulfillment and how say it's not my assignment degree give me fulfillment it is not my assignment all of them will say my assignment is only to give you success once we help you to become successful our mission is finished in your life what then gives me fulfillment peace hear me the only thing that can give you fulfillment in your life is the peace that comes with knowing that you have lived your life effectively serving the purposes of god and being a blessing to humanity philippians chapter 4 and verse 7 philippians chapter 4 and verse 7 and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding it says shall keep your heart and your minds when you read the preceding verse verse 6 it says be anxious for nothing anxiety nigeria please look at me there is such anxiety right now i want to make it i want to make sure that things work and i assure you by god god is more interested in your success than you are even interested the god that we serve is more determined except that we have been given a wrong narrative that things give success and they also give fulfillment i am here to tell you by the authority of scripture and the wisdom of those who have gone before us that the limit of everything you will ever have in your life is the realm of success when you pass the realm of success only one thing is qualified to pass with you your peace and if you throw it away looking for the other tokens of success a root shock will be waiting for you at the end where that line is drawn 